Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Lady Cats soccer action this afternoon hosting their arch rival People's Academy Wolves. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV channel 16, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics and the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701. Breakfast all day. Leaf on camera today. A couple of teams today looking for their first win. Hazen comes in with a 0-3 record. PA uh, stumbling out of the gate as well. 0-2, sort of uncharacteristic for them. They're usually a real strong program down there. PA's losses have come uh, with Thetford and Williamstown. Hazen dropped their home opener back Labor Day weekend against Oxmo by a score of 3-2. Uh, they went down to Blue Mountain on the 7th of September and lost in overtime. 3-2, and then uh, this past Saturday got kind of spanked over in Fairfax, 8-zip. So let's see what happens. Um, after this game, they got a bunch of days off, about eight days off. Their next game is next week here at home against Enosburg, and that is the only home game here at Hudson Fields for next week. But we got a busy week this week as the uh, boys host a couple of games this week um, and I have the schedule here for the boys game as well no I don't I don't um, actually they're playing tomorrow against U32 and then they're playing Friday against North Country yeah I had to, I had to decipher my own writing here but today we concentrate on the Lady Cats as they come out and take the field Lady Cats with a young team, no seniors. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, three juniors. Of course, my favorite, Maverick Murphy, Gabrielle Stanchu and Alexis Christensen are the three juniors. Tessa Luther, Sarah Collier, Caitlin Davison, Emma Bedora, Beth Conway, and Edie McKenzie are sophomores. And I've got one other junior down here, Lily Castle. Sorry, Lily. She is a junior as well. And then some freshmen, Zoe Bernard, Madeline Kaiser, Brianna Cochran, Bailey Christensen, Natalie Mitchett, and a name. I'm just going to go with Aster until I get a pronunciation on the last name on that one. And it is the freshman, Madeline Kaiser, in the net today for the Lady Cats. Junior Emma Cordemanch in net for the PA Wolves. Lady Cats looking to advance. PA chips it back out. I have done my best to be much better prepared for this game than I was for the boys game last week. Bit of a train wreck, but uh, we got through it. Match some names and numbers here, if I can. There's a ball that played ahead nicely over there to the corner. He's in defense, drops back. Launch towards and that'll go out of bounds. We'll have the always scintillating goal kick to put the ball back in play. I was holding my breath the entire time. Kaiser out. Makes the save. Short punt. Stanchu was looking to settle under. Hey, the PA player got there first. Shelby Wells trying to move it inside. Blocked out nicely by Alexis Christensen. I believe the Hazen defense, their players have been together for at least one year that I know of now. Lily Castle on the far side. Boots that one out of bound. PA throw in. Game just underway on a absolutely spectacular 
We'll call it late summer because it's not fall yet. Day here at Hudson Fields. And that ball goes up over and that's gonna go in and PA is gonna open up the scoring early here. As Kaiser went out to play it, the ball took a hop. I did not even see uh, who put that in. It was so far back. I couldn't, I couldn't begin to tell you who kicked that, and I didn't see who was 24? You're going to go with 24? Leaf says it's 24. That's what we'll go with. I had a pen here somewhere. Gabby Schaefer. Opens up the score for the PA Wolves. Hazen looking to come back there here. And Kortomach out to make the save. Both teams going forward here in the middle of the field. My pen has disappeared. Hazen looking to create a little offense here on the far side. Thank you, Leaf. So once again, we're going to give the goal of 20 to number 24, Gabby Schaefer, a sophomore for the Wolves. PA trying to use a lot of short passes. There's a ball played ahead, though. Blocked down nicely. I believe that's, uh, that was Beth Conway. With the block down for the Hazen defense. Sarah Collier comes out to challenge as well. Morgan Reeve blocked out by Tessa Luther. Ball goes out of bounds. We're going to have a white throw. Wells puts it into play down the middle of the field. Back out, Hazen. Kaiser comes out, makes the save. Kick, midfield. Caitlin Davison playing that one ahead. Gabby Stancher plays it ahead. Natalie Mitchell was trying to get by there. Couldn't quite do it. Defense stout so far for the People's Academy Wolves. Stancher plays it ahead once again. That'll be cleared out by Morgan Reeve. Mitchett over there against uh, Carlson. Ball centered. Trying to get a foot on it high. Just high was Gabriella Stanchu. Six minutes in, 34 minutes left to go in the first half. PA leads one zip. Sarah Collier. Nice aggressive play. Throw in. Looks ahead. Davison goes down. We get a whistle. Both teams looking for the first win today, but I'll tell you what, when these teams get on the field, you can pretty much throw the records out anyway. 
If James Salvis were here, he would be talking about all the People's Academy Hayes and rivalry games. Throw in red. Hazen looking to erase this deficit. PA with a little bit of room here. Defense drops back. That one got by. Collier on her horse trying to catch up. Shot on. Save. Mia Smith with the shot. Madeline Kaiser with the save for Hazen. Nice movement up by the uh, by the Wolves to get that up there. Far side turn. I believe that was Ariana Keen with the big foot over there. Throw in red. PA's been quick down here on these breakaways. She's going to get uh, Kaiser out, makes a save. Makes a save in traffic. Once again, Madeline Kaiser in goal. Just a freshman for your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Conway gets that one up to center. Here's Davison. Looking over there for Christensen. Looks up ahead for Tessa. Wolves defense there. Here's Davison again. Gonna play it up. Looking to pick her spot. Taken away by Reeve. Reeve in there. Cleared out with authority. And now back in. Hazen hanging tough here for the moment. Throw in Wells. Beth Conway back to make the play. Stanchu comes out. That one's back in. PA looking to get another shot off here. Blocked out. Time for the decent defense to step up. Christensen trading paint over there on the far side with Ariana Keene. Wolves coached by Brett Sarsfield. Of course, our own Harry Bissett, Coach Harry. Back coaching the Hazen Union Lady Cats. We hear Harry on the boys games every once in a while, once the girls practice is over. And that goes wide. I believe that was Christensen with the shot. A little bit of a breeze kicking up. <laughs> a little bit of cloud cover, but boy, just couldn't ask for a much better day to play soccer than today. And I'll tell you about two weeks from now, the hills will be alive with color. Little peaks of foliage here and there. It's just ready to pop. Two weeks away. Collier against the trio of wolves here. Well, actually, that is uh, Stanchu, Gabriella Stanchu. <clears throat> Oh, 
Ball goes to the corner. Schaefer over there. Call your out to challenger. Schaefer with the first goal. Nice play to the middle. Turn. PA looking for the shot. Taken out. Lily Castle. Knocks that one out of bounds. The most exciting play in all of soccer right there, the corner kick. What happens? Settling that one down was Gigi Calhoun. Back here, middle of the field, Davison looking to move ahead. Hazen on the far side. In. Scoop save. Quarter match. Rolls it out to Morgan Reeve. Reeve here on the near side. Stanchu up to challenge. Reeve gets it by. Played ahead, gets it by everybody once again. Lily Castle. Lily Castle's made of sand. Ouch. Her. And Lily with authority chips that one into the crowd. That was more of a chunk, actually. We won't, we'll go with the chunk. She chunked that one into the crowd. Throw in, center. Lily Castle up ahead to Christensen. Christensen working against Keen. Middle of the field, Tessa there. Here's Mitchett, I'll take that. She says, no, nope, cleared out. But kept back in. Lady Cats hanging tough. Mitchett doing her best over there. People's Academy back on the attack. Ball goes through the defense. Beth Conway back up here to center field. Morgan Reeve lines it up back in. Lily Castle right there. Lily's been back there. She's a uh, junior. I remember her watching play back there as a freshman. She's got some experience back there on defense. Actually, I remember her playing for the Lakeview Lakers back many years ago. I believe that was referee Peter Rossi with the call. Gonna give the Wolves a free kick here. <clears throat> and I don't think everybody was set. Whistle pretty quick there right after uh, Carlson launched that one. So obviously that's not gonna count. Gillen waves her out a little bit further. And there's a kick up. And save by Kaiser. <clears throat> but now we have the corner kick. The most exciting play in all of soccer. And it's announcer's humble opinion.
Knocked down. Christensen up ahead. A little too far. PA, another shot wide. My enthusiasm, Leaf. <laughs> PA controlling a lot of the tempo and the action right up here in the hazen end of the field. Getting some shots off. There's one, and that is in. And the scorer, we're looking to get a number here. If I can. I, I see who she is, but I can't see the number. Turn, turn the other way. 20. She still hasn't turned her back to me. Twenty-six. Uh, that is Sadie Barnaway, I believe, was the scorer on that one. Of course, if I am wrong, I apologize to any of the ladies' score that I mess up on. But I'm trying to look across the field at a number through my glasses, and I believe I have come up with twenty-six. And I believe it is Sadie Barnaway. Again, if it was somebody else, my apologies. If it's Sadie, congratulations. Puts the uh, Wolves up two zip over the Cats with. Uh, 21-25 left to go here in the first half. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. There's a shot wide by Tessa Luther. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics, a full-line Arctic Cat dealer. If you want to play in the uh, mud or you want to cruise on the snow, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports has it all for you. In the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701. Breakfast all day, and their homemade toast is spectacular, along with these scrambled eggs. I'll have bacon, sausage, and hash browns, please. <laughs> Cats looking to cut into this deficit. A little bit of a hole to climb out of now being down two zip. Once again, both teams come in winless on the season. Cats at 0-3, Wolves at 0-2. Turnaround shot, Kaiser down to make the save. Shot taken by Gabby Schaefer. Got a whistle. Peter Rossi with the call. Crowd is telling me handball, so, I mean, of course they're right. That's what I'm going to go with. If the crowd calls it, you know it's right. Lily Castle, spinner. Knocked down Christensen on this side of the field now. Sarah Collier boots that one out of bounds. Throw in Wells. Beth Conway skies that one a mile high out of bounds. Wells drops it in. Christensen gets the header on it. Christensen looking to move up. Marquetta Pitonaro there. Let's 
Center field kept in by Lucy Nigro. I might as well go with the last names. I'm sure I can't butcher them any worse than any of the other announcers. You know? Misplay by Collier and a miss shot by Schaefer. And she would like that one back because she had a clear path to Madeline Kaiser. Goal kick, Lily Castle. Schaefer gets the foot on that, goes by. PA keeps it in, though. Collier played up, looking for Tessa Luther back to Christensen. Christensen plays it ahead. Plays it way ahead. Nice speed back there on the defense, though. I believe that was Ariana Keene. Or it could have been Alicia Rye getting back there on uh, defense. I think it was. I think it was Alicia. Now that I can see the number better. Here's Wells taking it herself, looking ahead for Schaefer. Castle lines up, middle of the field. Christensen knocked down. Collier plays it back to the middle. Caitlin Davidson gets a foot in there. But played up by PA. Shot on, Kaiser down, save. of getting to the ball here. Kaiser has that one go off her chin. That'll leave a mark. But uh, PA definitely a little more aggressive getting to the ball, keeping it in the Hazen end. kick turn scrum in front shot wide by Morgan Reeve just a bit outside Turn up field blocked out by Christensen. Throw in Wells. Drops right over the defense back there for Schaefer. Out of bounds. Goal kick. PA continuing to be aggressive here on offense. Not giving the Cats any kind of chance at all to get the ball even past midfield, really, the last, I don't know, bit of this game, I'll say. Really controlling the tempo, controlling what's going on.
Mitchin on the far side. Trading a little paint. Robbins racing. Thirteen minutes left to go in the first half. Wolves up to zip. Goals by Gabby Schaefer and Sadie Baron Way. Baron Yay. Go with Baron Yay. I think. My apologies to any and of all the girls who I'm not getting their names right. Lady Cats not able to mount much of an offense. White throw. Turn, played up, Collier knocks that one down. PA still in control, here's Schaefer. Shot blocked down, Conway. Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Conway. Solid defense for the Lady Cats. Shot Schaefer from outside wide. I think the referees beat the crowd to the whistle. <laughs> Kudos to Peter Rossi and Kevin Gillen. PA. Makes a move up, but Lily Castle. Solid defense there in the middle. Took on a pair of wolves. And that'll be a turnover. Tessa almost had a step on Reeve. Wells, throw in, drop, nicely. And Isselhart, middle of the field was a recipient of that throw in. Ball on the far side. Maverick, Murphy. She showed, yes, Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. Tessa, can she get by? Can't. Reeve. Knocked down, Mitchett. Collier, once again, just trying to get it out of the Hazen end. Yeah. 
White throw, far side of the field. 8-12 and ticking here in the first half. Iselhart chips it back. Here's a chunk. PA throw, drop down, far corner. Turn, player in the middle, broken up nicely. PA still, nice play. Iselhart over here on the far side. Schaefer had, had a line but couldn't quite get it. Stanchu out there to challenge. PA almost taking their time here, trying to pick their spots. As Hazen just cannot clear the ball out of their zone. Here's Reef, keeping it in, turn up, Schaefer. Inside. Davison ahead, blocked down by PA. Stanchu, spinner in the middle, Davison. Reeve, though, keeps it in once again. There's Beth. Iselhart. Nice settle shot from way outside. Kaiser played that one with her feet. say has really controlled the better part of this first half. He's a couple of opportunities, but not many. Whereas PA has made the best of doors, theirs to get this 2-0 lead. Far side, middle of the field, Tessa. Two PA players to beat, trying to split the middle of them. Jukes and jives, but doesn't get by Reeve. Nice effort by Tessa. Tessa, she can get to it. She's not gonna though. Cordemont, she's been pretty much the Maytag repairman back here. Repair person, I'll say. If you're old enough to remember those commercials. I don't know, she's had time enough to put away a couple of chapters of War and Peace since the last time we got a shot on him, so. Basking in the sun. Let's see if we can test her a little bit. Maverick, Murphy, middle of the field, collides. PA player still down. That is Marquetta Pitanaro shaking it off. Junior for the Wolves. Castle he uses the body. PA once again. I'll tell you though, for as, as much as they've had the ball back here, the defense has been playing well, but you gotta wonder if they're gonna start getting tired. There's Kaiser, chips that one out. Get 
Monero keeps that one ahead, goes ahead to Smith. Smith. Collier back up. Alexis Christensen working against Pinanero. Bethany gets it up. Reeve there to get in front of Tessa though. PA just playing more aggressive ball right now. I think Coach Harry's got to tell his girls at halftime to try to step in front of some of these players a little bit. Create a little bit of their own opportunity. That's what PA's done this entire first half. It's created opportunities. Beating Hazen to the ball. I believe that was Coach Corey Maskell's mantra was first to the ball. Christensen takes that one away. Up ahead. Davison over on the far side. PA with a deep bench as well, though. Kind of wear you down. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Once again, Lady Cats defense has been tough, but they've been playing a lot of defense in this half. Hazelhart from way outside. One minute left to play in the first half. One minute. See if the Lady Cats can put on any kind of a charge, maybe build a little momentum, get a quick goal here. Then anything can happen. But I'll tell you what, for the times they've had to play defense, the, the PA defense has been excellent as well. They're fast, fast, they got great footwork. PA once again on the attack. White throw. Anna from outside. Lily Castle will clear that out, and that will do it for the first half. And off of goals, we believe, by Gabby Schaefer and Sadie Baranier. The Wolves now have the 2-0 lead as they look to get their first one of the season, possibly, uh, if they can hold on here in the second half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics and the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701. Breakfast all day. Leaf on camera will be back in time to start the second half. All right, we're about ready to tip off second half action here at Hudson Fields at Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats. A little bit of a hole to dig out of. They are down two zip against their arch rival People's Academy Wolves. It was uh, Gabby Schaefer and Sadie Baronier. I think I've said her last name different every time. I'm hoping one of the times maybe I'll nail it. Apologies to the girls for butchering their names. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. They are a full-line Arctic Cat dealer, and they've got all-terrain vehicles. They've got snapper mowers. If you want to mow your grass, if you want to play in the mud, if you want to play in the snow, they got what it takes. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701. Breakfast all day. Um, let's see. Uh, pancakes, uh, bacon, 
some of that delicious homemade toast, glass of orange juice. Hash browns, you gotta have the hash browns. Those are awesome. Leaf on camera, sporting a fine sombrero this afternoon to ward off the sun on a picture perfect day for soccer here at what I call one of the finest soccer fields in the state, Hudson Fields. Team switch ends, see if that makes a difference. It was PA controlling a lot of the action in the first half, keeping the ball down on the Hazen end. Hazen defense played well. Um, first goal was a bit of a high bouncer. They got over the top of Kaiser. Second goal was just a quality shot to get the Wolves a 2-0 lead. Um, Hazen with a couple of, I don't know, we can call them half shots or so on goal. Nothing that's really tested. I'm assuming that's Cordemont still in there. It almost looks like a different person. And I can't remember who the other goalie was. But the coach told me, so we'll, we'll just go with the PA goalie because I don't want to call the wrong name. It doesn't. This girl looks taller. Or maybe it's just because she's down on this end of the field. I'm not sure. Whoever the PA goalie is, she's got the sun right in her eyes. So if PA could get a, if Hazen could get a little bit of a, an offensive opportunity here, anything can happen. Hazen with the goal. Goal, 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 kick. Booted to the outside. See what Coach Harry's strategy is here for the second half to get the Cats back into this game. PA, of course, a deep bench over there. Hazen's bench not as deep. PA kind of comes at you in waves. Great short passing, great... Uh, Footwork by the Wolves. Wolves come in once again with a record of 0-2. Cats at 0-3, so both teams looking for their first win. PA usually a powerhouse in girls soccer. Losses to Thetford and Williamstown. Hazen has lost to Oxbow, Blue Mountain, and Fairfax. First two games kind of close. Last game, uh, an eight zip spanking at Fairfax. Boys will play two more games this week tomorrow against U32 and Friday against North Country right here at Hudson Fields. Lady Cats have a break after today. They won't play again until next week on the 21st when they will host Enosburg in what is usually another tough game. Enosburg usually pretty tough. And that is the only home game for next week. So we got three this week and one next week. <laughs> Throw in cats, Gabriella Stanchu. Working against Ariana Keene. Once again, no seniors for the Lady Cats. Bunch of juniors, some sophomores, and freshmen. So, safe to say we will not have any senior night this year for the Lady Cats. Throw in Collier, knock down statue. See if the Cats will be a little more aggressive going to the ball. Tessa tried the turnaround. Carlson wasn't having any of that. Oh, there's a ball right off the face. Gabby Schaefer, she's tough. Oh, 
Anna Eiselhart clears it over here to the near side of the field, trying to get under it is Fallon Forrest. Keen. Out of bounds, throw in, Collier drops it over. Tessa looks ahead. Caitlin trying to get up there and get a step as well. Here's Tessa. Stanchu. Give and go. Tessa. She'd have she would have had to have gone left foot. Cats. Make it a shot. Tessa. Trying to square up. Passes back out. Stanchu. Hazen looking to keep it in this end. Maybe put a shot on goal themselves. Throw in White. Maverick, Murphy. She's lost that love and feeling. Eiselhart gets it by Collier. Eiselhart moves ahead. Lily Castle gives Chate. Eiselhart's going to have a shot on save. Kaiser. Madeline Kaiser, the freshman. Goalie for the Lady Cats with the save. It's Eiselhart had a cleared shot at the net on that one. Two minutes left to go in the game. Lady Cats down two zip. <laughs> Fallon Forrest, middle. No whistle. Peter Ross is standing right there. Call it incidental contact. Davidson on the near side goes middle. Eiselhart is a force out here. Making a lot of things happen offensively for the Wolves right now. Up overhead. Throw in red. Played out by Christensen. Throw in white. Mariana Keene on the throw in. Looks ahead. Forrest. Fallon Forrest. Back there working on Sarah Collier. Eiselhart. Cross. PA looking to line something up here.
Cats thwart that attempt. Back up here, center field, Tessa. Davison couldn't get the foot on it. Bailey Christensen playing some D on the far side. Bailey, a freshman, still playing. Knocked down. Luther trying to get that one over to Davison. Here's Alexis Christensen. Maverick, Murphy, looking to try and get it ahead. Anna to Fallon, Fallon. Up ahead. Sadie. Got that one over, Stanchu. Middle of the field. That one gets by. Play back, goalie comes up. Goalie whose name we do not know. Just nothing there for the Cats. Seems like they're either playing behind or the ball's too far ahead. Just haven't quite gotten to sink it up. And there's a handball. Handball on Maverick. Murphy. So glad Maverick's a junior. I'll have one more year. I got to watch Top Gun again. Get all my Top Gun references. PA once again. Save Kaiser. I don't know the way PA is playing right now. It's almost like when you're watching a hockey game and it, you know one team just has an advantage, has an advantage. You can almost see it coming. You know. Let's hope the defense, which has played heroically, to keep this game at two zip today can stand up for another 26 minutes and the offense can get something going and get us a couple of three goals here. When the dust settles, we're going to have a red throw. <laughs> throw in red. Back in play. Kick here. Forrest right there to grab it. Turn, block down. Lily Castle. Lily Castle's made a stand. One more shots. Ping pong in and out.
PA. Turn. Eiselhart lining up. Shot high. Anna puts that one high. And that one kicked right to Forrest once again. Keen, middle of the field, knocked down. Shot from outside, gonna roll over here to the near corner. Once again, this side of the field pitches down. It's almost like you're playing uphill. White throw. Keen with a shot on, knocked down by Bethany. Another shot on goal, and uh, I don't know, PA's kind of just having their way with us back here right now. Now the last two goal kicks have gone directly to number seven for PA, Fallon Forrest. Let's see if we go three for three. We did have Gabrielle Stancher up to play her that time. The last two times she was basically wide open by herself. And Natalie Mitchell and Ariana Keen trading some paint out there. Shot on. Wesley Carlson. throw here on the near corner. As we have some substitutions. White throw now. Christensen mercifully gets it past the half field line for the Lady Cats. Played back to the goalie. Goalie playing footsie with fate back there. Once again, controlling a lot of the pace, the tempo, the placement, keeping the ball in the haze and end. Bernor, Zori Bernor gets it over to Sancho. Taken back. Beth Conway knocking that one out. Halfway through the second half, 20 minutes left to go in the match. People's Academy Wolves leading your Hazen Union Lady Cats by a score of 2 to 0. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Leaf on camera. Our sponsors today Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472 5522. They support Hazen Athletics. In the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701, breakfast all day. We thank each and every one of our sponsors who help bring 
Hazen Athletics from us to you. We could not be us without you. Shot on high. Looking to get the turn, middle of the field. Nothing there. Eiselhart gets it back. Keen playing against Bernor. Keen, middle of the field, shot on wide. Emma Bedore goes off. Caitlin Davison back on for the Lady Cats. Coach Harry looking for some offense here. We haven't seen a whole lot of offense from the Cats today. A lot of D. A lot of D, but not a whole lot of O. Alexis Christensen up ahead. Luther knocks it back. Kenzie out playing defense now for the Lady Cats. Edie, a sophomore. Exciting play in all of soccer. The corner kick. Kick up. Ball down. Good afternoon, Vanessa. How are you? Longtime Hardware Gazette photographer Vanessa Fournier joining us over here at the broadcast position. Nope, now she's leaving us. I can't ever remember coming to a game at Hazen that Vanessa hasn't been here taking pictures, ever. Ow! Lily, castle's made of sand, takes one off the noggin. She's tough though, she's double tough. side in the middle Kaiser Lady Cats will definitely have some time to repair as they won't play again until next week when they host Enosburg on the 21st of September. And, oh, Lily Castle right there playing some tough D. Fallon Forrest was teed up, ready to take a shot. She's been kind of hanging over there a lot in the second half and been open quite a bit. Corner kick, Eiselhart, middle of the field with the header. Ball drops down. Another corner. Sadie Baron Yeh 
I'll go with a different pronunciation. Eiselhart in. Down. Trying to get the foot on it was Alicia Ray. Got a penalty called outside of the box. Just outside of the box. Darn, close to a PK. A lot of talk, a lot of, I don't know what the whole plan was there. And there's a shot and a goal. Wesley Carlson scoring that one. Puts the Lady Cats up, uh, the Wolves up 3-0 over your Lady Cats. And with 13.48 left to go in the match, Wolves, three zip. A nice shot from outside. Nothing much Kaiser could do with that. Like I said, with the amount of time that they have had the ball back in our end, and the way they were just sort of almost toying with us, you could see it coming sooner or later. Defense has been played well, though. I got to. I'll give the uh, Hayes and D. They have played. They have uh, played a lot of D in this game. Play by Keen. Davison heads that one down. Comes up to challenge Keen. Davison turn. Cross. Tessa was there. Sanchu has that one go off the side of her foot. Davison throws a shot on. Bobble by the goalie. Tessa was right there. If that ball would have dropped. But saved by the PA goalie. And a punt, and a nice punt. A call on PA gives Hazen the kick. I don't know, Lily's got the foot. She might just take it from here. Spinner over, looking for Luther. PA goalie out to make the save in traffic. Punt, drop down, up over Castle right there, Eiselhart. and looking to get a goal to avoid the shutout, we'll say now. Keane gets that one ahead. 
Collier plays it back, Stanchu. Fallon Forrest right there, here's Keene. She's been all over the ball all the second half. Eisenhardt streaks in. Beautiful control. Nice feed, wow. Oh, ho, ho. just pinpoint passing. Sadie wanted to get the foot on that one. She had the open shot, shot it high. But what a pass back there from, from Eisenhardt to get it to her, just pinpoint trap. Great footwork. And the goal kick. Well, we got it to one of our players that time. That's a plus. Eiselhart. Christensen playing against her inside. Here's Forrest. Like I say, she's kind of been lurking back there all game long. Center. And that, I believe, was number 26, which would have been Sadie, her second of the game. And the scoring erupts now. Four zip. Wolves up. 9-11 left to go in the game. Cats playing for pride now. So two goals for Sadie, one for Gabby, one for Wesley. The People's Academy scoring onslaught here today. Lily, castles made of sand. Ball drops. We've seen this kind of all game, just PA beating us to the ball. Time in and time out. Castle boots that one out off the end line. That'll be a corner kick. Eiselhart takes the corner kick. Knocked out by Christensen. Davison keen on her. Here's Tessa with a whole lot of white jerseys right there. Double team. Stanchu. Tessa working against Carlson, PA goalie. That's to scoop it up. Slow roller. I think that's Reeve over there, if I remember right. Reeve once again looking to turn against. Oh, out. Hazen throw. Stanchu. Tessa gets it back, kick ahead. Lucy, my girl up ahead. She was looking for Gabby Schaefer out of bounds. Throw in Collier. Stanchu.
Christensen trying to keep that one in. Davison back to Christensen. Christensen over here. Stanchu. Stanchu blocked out by Lucy. Eisenhardt up ahead. Schaefer, will she make it through? No, makes a pass. Turn shot on wide. I believe that was Shelby Wells shooting wide. Trap down Schaefer. Wolves keep it in. Four fifty left to go in the match. Edie McKenzie, Tessa out there, can't get there. Collier knocks that one down. And we got a handball, and referee's a little late with the whistle on that one. Crowd beat him to it. So they're one for one today. One other handball, they got the whistle in first before the crowd could shout handball. <laughs> It's almost like being in, in New York City when the, the light goes from red to green and you've got that millisecond to get your car rolling or else the guy behind you is honking. That's what the handball calls are like with the crowds. PA coach telling his ladies to send it. Eisenhart looking up here near side. Schaefer, she's open. Schaefer shot on, saved by Kaiser. Say she's not afraid to lose it to use her feet. This is Madeline. I like it. Ooh, not much of a punt there, and there's a shot wide. Oh, be still my beating heart. Go kick straight to the PA player. Lines up wide. Shelby Wells. Corner kick, far corner, the Anna Eichel. Eiselhardt. Edie, stay with her. She's coming in. Edie, stay with her. Watch A, watch A. Shot from way outside. And there's another goal. And Eiselhardt comes out and looks to be the recipient of all the high fives. So we'll give that one to Anna Eiselhardt, her first of the game. Fifth of the game for the PA Wolves as the clock now continues to run with two minutes. Two minutes to midnight. Another fine Iron Maiden song. Our Lady Cats crowd still enthusiastic, though. Eisenhart. It's 
Tessa. And Davison going Tessa down. No whistle. One minute left to go in the match. And uh, I'll just take a moment to apologize to all the People's Academy's ladies whose names I have not pronounced right. I've done the best I could. So uh, I will appreciate your forgiving me in advance. Sponsors today, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. They support Hazen Athletics. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, 472-5701. Breakfast all day. You are watching Hazen Union Lady Cats Soccer on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. 30 seconds left. And Davidson puts a shot on. Leaf on camera. This will drop the Lady Cats record to 0-4. Uh, PA will go to 1-2. and 2. Lady Cats will have time to lick their wounds and prepare plenty for their next game. So it's not until next week when they will host Enosburg right here at Hudson's Field. And weather permitting, we will have the game for you. Once again, a couple of boys games come up this week. Tomorrow against U32 and Friday against North Country. And that'll do it. And it's the People's Academy Wolves once again pushing a record of 1-2. and two. Hazen drops to 0-4, and four, courtesy of a 5-0 thrashing here at Hudson Fields. Thank everybody for tuning in, especially our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and the Hardwick Village Restaurant. Leaf on camera, Lance Hall with the call. Live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.